Welcome to the first episode of a segment called You've Got Questions, I've Got Cancer. My name is Mike, I'm a stage 4 melanoma patient, and I decided to do this because people had a lot of questions when I got a lot of cancer. Uh, much like the cancer, we'll see if this segment sticks around, but today's topic is going to be immunotherapy. So namely, what is immunotherapy, how is it administered, and what was my experience with it? And um, seeing as I had my first treatment yesterday on Friday, it's kind of fresh in my brain in every sense of the word. So what is immunotherapy? Uh, immunotherapy for cancer, because there are immunotherapies for other things like allergies, but anyway, immunotherapy for cancer is a targeted therapy used for lots of different kinds of cancer, but it's very prevalent in the treatment of melanoma. And there are multiple kinds of drugs and they kind of act in different ways, but the generic way to describe it is uh, targeted therapy teaches your immune system to target cancer cells or recognize them and it ramps up your immune system in a response to the cancer that you have so that you can get rid of it. Uh, that's a really reductive way to put it and maybe the science is a little off there, but that's not really the purpose of why I'm describing it. I'm just trying to clear up, you know, when people ask, oh, is it like chemo? No, chemo is very destructive. Is it like radiation? No, it's a different form of targeted therapy. Immunotherapy has been around for about 13 years now, and uh, it's made huge, huge advancements in the way we can treat, you know, metastatic cancer, including melanoma. So the next question is, how is immunotherapy administered? Uh, immunotherapy is typically administered through IV treatment, or at least the two drugs that I'm taking are. The two drugs I'm taking are nivolumab and apilimumab. <laughs> That's a mouthful there. And uh, their street names, if you want, are Opdivo and Yervoy. So my Opdivo treatment takes 30 to 60 minutes in an IV, and then we switch to uh, Yervoy, which takes about 90 minutes in an IV. And, you know, you get to your clinic, mine is UCLA Health in San Diego, or <laughs> UCLA Health in San Luis Obispo. Uh, they run saline through you, they get you set up, you hang out, play on your phone, do whatever. Um, the combination drug treatment is supposedly pretty rough on your body, and I'm gonna tell you about my experience with it now. So when I did Opdivo solely five years ago when I had uh, stage three metastatic melanoma, it wasn't that rough throughout the treatments. My side effects, although I hit some of them in terms of like my thyroid going out or getting colitis and other stuff like that, they were, the, the overall systemic effect was not brutal on me. This first treatment, I didn't really see anything too bad during the IV treatment itself. Uh, I had some mild discomfort and then the day of, I was thinking, hey, this is gonna be pretty good. I got fatigued towards the end of yesterday. Today, I woke up and, um, you know, I didn't feel great. I felt a little rough. I felt a little bit like, not feverish symptoms, but it was clear my body was dealing with something new in the way of having drugs in it. And also, you know, maybe if the immunotherapy is kicking in, it, my body's starting to fight the cancer that's inside me. Um, like I have said in all my other videos, every cancer patient's mileage will vary for every single situation including treatment you know even though it's relatively standardized um, for the iv treatment that i'm going through they differ it based on your weight the type of cancer you have what physical condition you're in and the program that they want to use in order to get you right and you know your response to the drugs and your side effects are going to vary wildly based on who you are um, that's a really brief and really rough overview of what immunotherapy for cancer is. And um, I, I really did make this section because that was the most common question that people had for me. You know, when I, when I mentioned it in other videos, that kept coming back. So if you have other questions about anything that I'm going through, anything related to cancer, whether it is, you know, scientific or mental health related, or you're just curious about, you know, what cancer can do in its totality to your lifestyle, because I think that's a big thing I'm gonna end up talking about. It's, it's really hard to understand what a cancer patient looks like if you haven't encountered one before, and I'm probably not what you had in your mind when you hear, oh, someone has stage four cancer and could potentially be dying of that. Not to be super morbid, I don't know that we're there yet, but it's certainly threatening my life. So if you have questions, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to answer them on an individual basis, or maybe in another segment of You've Got Questions and I've Got Cancer. Thank you. Bye.